Hey everyone, it's Haley. Welcome to Mom Life Vermont and welcome to Confessions of a Bearded Lady. Now, if you this is your first time here, this little series on my channel is really about PCOS and hormonal facial hair or really any female facial hair. I just kind of go around to various stores in the town I live in, online sites, of various things that people have suggested to me and I try them to remove my facial hair. Now on the last episode, and I believe it was the last episode, I'm not sure if you've done any updates since then, I used this NADS Charcoal Bead Wax. I really, really liked it. There is a major learning curve with any waxing, and this was, I think, my third time waxing. I think this will be my third time, so that was my second time waxing. What today's episode is, is actually going to be me trying charcoal bead wax for the third time. This video is not going to be so much of a review of the product or even like really maybe showing you how I did it, but check out last video because that one definitely went into it wholeheartedly. One of the things I'm interested since using the charcoal bead wax last time was, was the hair growth gone and was it as like unnoticeable as long as I thought. What I'm thinking of, what I remember of this product, and mind you it was a little patchy, was that the parts of my facial hair that I removed with this really, really well were gone for almost a month. Is that true? I don't really know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my facial hair today with the charcoal bead wax. This is by NADS, not sponsored at all, but they did send me this for free when I want a contest. Basically, I'm gonna see if I can get it gone as well as possible. The hair is about a week old here. I have been using the Flawless Touch Finishing to get it gone. So I'll bring you in for a close-up here in a minute, but we're going to do some waxing. This is a no-strip wax. You just need the wax itself to wax. Go check out the other video. And then once I'm done that, I'm going to bring you along on the next two weeks, month. We'll see how long the hair is actually gone. How long do you think it's going to last? Let me know down in the comments. If you guys have tried this product, let me know. If you have any tips and tricks for waxing, let me know because I find waxing to be one of the hardest things I've ever done in my whole life. But I also know that there's a major learning curve and I just haven't gotten over the curve yet. This has to be warmed up. I also have more beads if necessary. So I'm going to go get it started. Warmed it up here. I have two sticks, a big one and a little one. I also went and bought a whole bunch of more little ones. I'm thinking if I do littler sections, it'll go easier. I have no idea, but that just didn't go as planned. I'm just going to bring you guys in for a clock see. better at that. There are definitely some spots that I want to do again or I might tweeze but got a much better handle on that. I ended up wanting to see, like I, I waxed and waxed and waxed and then I had little bits of wax left so I needed to wipe that off and the stuff I used to wipe it off now means that the wax that I've been using won't go back on my face. In the morning, I will show you it when it's not all red and inflamed and I might tweeze the couple of hairs that I can feel or I'll use the Flawless Touch Finishing, but at least we'll get a good like base coat on this adventure of how fast does it grow. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts and opinions on how this waxing went and yeah, we will find out how it grows over the next couple of weeks. So I will see you tomorrow. 
Hey everyone, so it's been about 12, 9 to 10 hours since I actually did my waxing. And I just wanted to show you, I actually didn't do anything else to it. Like I didn't take the flawless touch to it. There are definitely still some patchy splotches like right here. But redness is going down. I think it's a very nice base coat. Base layer, base layer. Hey everyone, so it's day three since I did the face waxing and I'm at the gym and they have like beauty guru lighting here. So it's just kind of getting a really good look at, I think these bumps here, these like little red marks are actually from the waxing maybe. I don't know if they're ingrown hairs. I'll have to take a look at them more. But I haven't actually done anything else to the hair. And I feel like I'm still clear. So. Three days in and still good. So it has been just over a week since I did the waxing. And I have to say, outside of like, I noticed probably like two days ago that there was some hair in some places, which is 100% the hair that I missed when I did the waxing. So I've noticed right here, there's a nice little patch that I think was actually one of the first one uh, patches of hair I tried to get rid of when I waxed, but it just didn't work. So right there, and then there's like a line right about here. But the rest of it, I would say, Maybe today's the first day where I'm actually feeling like some of those hairs are poking out, but it's been a whole week. So it's a whole week of me being almost hair free besides the patches that I missed, but it definitely at least lasted a whole week before I even started feeling it. So if I go this way, it's still very smooth. If I go this way, you can start feeling those, just those little, little bumps there. So far, so good. I'm very happy with the results. I'm happy that I like took my time and did kind of like a much better waxing job this time. I'll see if I can get you in close and personal to actually take a look to see how the hair is not there and how it is there in some places. But if you guys have ever waxed, how long has it lasted for you? What's the longest time that you were able to go without waxing and without noticing your hair? Was it a month? Was it a week? Was it two weeks? Let me know. What is your preferred wax? Also, like if you have one of those, I want to know. Let me know. I was thinking about this um, waxing the other day and the way that I feel right now. So right now it is, let's see, like 17 days since I did it. No, we haven't been two weeks. 10, 10 days. <laughs> I added a week there somewhere along the way. And so we're 10 days in and I'm pretty sure the way that it feels and the amount of growth that I have right now is typically like within 24 hours of me doing the finishing touch flawless or sometimes I think even if I'm doing some of the creams like if I do a cream and I don't leave it on long enough or uh, it's just not the greatest cream I think this is what it feels like so I definitely can feel the hair is now starting to come through in kind of like all areas but it's still growing it's still very short like I don't even notice it if I was to look in the mirror and get really close I don't know if I would notice it's there, so. So far, so good. It's lasting a very long time. It's, and I think with a couple more practices, I'll be able to hopefully get all the hair gone all at once. So I don't have like some of these really patchy bits, like this whole line that I forgot right here, the bits on my cheek. So, yeah. So it's definitely growing in like look it's not, i mean it's definitely better than it typically is but i 100 percent miss that i don't know if you can see that but that is a hair right there it's shining in that light i think that was when i missed or didn't get as well but these ones are getting bad like in that light <laughs> so i think i gotta go through and do a 
well, it's funny. I wish I had kind of gone through maybe like four days ago before all the hair was poking through. Although right now I feel it and it doesn't feel that it's that much longer than it was a couple of days ago. So it must be growing slower. But the parts or the bits of the hair that I 100% missed on the waxing adventure are super long now and really need to be cut back. But I just don't think I'm going to because since all the hair have poked through, if I go through, it's going to cut the surface hair. And will that make the hair grow faster than normal? If I had just waxed it really good from the beginning? I don't know. I guess I'll let you know if I end up doing it or when I do end up doing that. But we're coming up on two weeks. It's Friday now, so it's been 12 days. I believe 12 days. So 12 days and I feel... I feel good, so yeah. Good evening, everyone. I wanna just kinda give you a quick peek here at the hair, and I realize I should probably use the light I have, but I, I, feel, the, I feel like I told you guys this, or I, in the last video you probably had seen it. I like have a cut right here from the cat. So anyway, I remember being like, looking in the mirror a couple of days ago and be like, oh my goodness, the, the hairs are starting to get long, but I wasn't really prepared to like get it all gone. So I was needing to tweeze, couldn't find tweezers, like never actually really tried to find tweezers, but it just didn't become a part of what I needed to do. So today when I had time to like sit and drive to work and there is a whole video on this, it's either posted by now or will be posted shortly of the, my thoughts on today and this facial hair. But Anyway, I just got very self-conscious of it when I was in the car by myself, not really having anything else to do, that I was just so worried about it, and it just never really mattered. But at this point, three days later, it's definitely... What am I thinking? So prior to using the Flawless Touch, which is this doohickey here i feel like i would let my hair grow for a really long time because to do the creams and the pr yo the dogs are being crazy to do the creams and stuff just was such a process that that is almost like made me spoiled so i'm like oh it's getting so long in places that i should just get rid of it but i think i want to use a wax next another nads wax in the upcoming video just to kind of like compare the two this will actually be my third nad wax and so far i've loved the two that i've used the first one was which one was i don't remember what it was called i know it was green and you actually had to use strips the last one was the charcoal beads that I've used a couple of times, which is no strips, just wax. And I think this is a no wax, no strip one as well, just the wax pulls. If you're interested in seeing that, definitely subscribe to the video. Let me know down in the comments and I will have it be in one of the upcoming videos because there might be a video about today's adventure. I wanted to give you guys a look here and since I am going to kind of wait to um, see how the... growth can go in order to use the wax i'm just gonna probably leave it but i might get rid of this like this i can actually see like not that having a mustache is a bad thing but sometimes when i can actually notice that it's dark right here i get really self-conscious i don't know why like the beard doesn't bother me but the mustache does <laughs> well i guess both of them bother me at times but I hope you guys have liked to see the growth and what is your opinion on waxing? Do you do at home waxing? What's your favorite at home wax wet at home waxing? Let me know down in the comments and I got some dogs that are being loud, so I will see you guys soon.